Maptitude makes it easy to determine nearby features and their proximity. For example, you may have a map that shows your customers in one layer and your stores in another layer. You can use a data view to tag each customer with the nearest store and its distance away. So I'll open this data view of my customers. And if necessary, you may need to click the Modify Table button to add some more fields to use for storing the results. For example, I will add two fields. A character field to store the name of the nearest store, and a numeric field to store the distance. And I'll call these nearest store and distance. Click on the column heading to highlight it, and choose Edit Fill. Choose the tag method, choose your store layer, choose the field with the store name, and click OK. Aptitude fills the column with the name of the store that is closest to each customer. Now I'll highlight the distance field, and again choose to fill it, this time by right-clicking and choosing Fill. Again, choose the store layer, but this time choose Distance to Feature, and click OK. Maptitude fills the column with a straight line distance to the nearest store. In this previous example, I tagged the customers using another point layer, the stores. You could also tag them with an area layer. For example, if this zip code field were empty, like this, you could tag each customer with the zip code area that they are in. Again, I'll choose Fill, Tag, and this time use the zip code layer, and the zip field. Maptitude fills the column with the zip code from the zip code area file. Now, if we go to the map, I can create a theme on the customers showing which store is closest. I'll use my new nearest store field and click OK. Each customer is shown with a color depending on which store they're closest to. And if I click on a customer with the info tool, you can see that it has the appropriate zip code and you can see the closest store and distance to that store. And that wraps up this tutorial on attaching data from nearby features.